I got an email this week from Jeff in Ankeny. Jeff writes, hey Mark, I'm riding a lot more in the summer on low traffic streets and trails, but I'm really worried about crashing. What should I do? Jeff, thanks for emailing me. You need to keep your eyes on the road and constantly be scanning for road hazards. Let's talk a little bit about road hazards. Most of the time, railroad tracks are one of the biggest enemies of bicycles. When these get wet and slippery, sometimes they cross at weird angles. Uh, sometimes they can be a problem for bicycles, so you need to keep an eye out. Most of the time, you don't have a problem, but if you kind of go at a weird angle, that might just swallow your tire and have some trouble for, uh, and throw you from your bike and cause injuries. So you need to try to cross at just as much of an angle as you can, but sometimes those tracks are kind of uneven and uh, hard to get over. So you got to keep an eye out and uh, really proceed cautiously. Most of the time, these are what uh, railroad uh, crossings are going to look like. They're going to be nice, smooth concrete without a lot of problems, not a lot of opportunity to uh, get your wheels caught or slip on the metal. Now, if your railroad tracks are crossing perpendicular to your roadway, this isn't a big problem for you. Uh, you just need to make sure that you keep your uh, wheels at a right angle to the, to the tracks, and you usually don't have much of a problem. But now, if your tracks are skewed, if they cross at a little deeper angle than uh, what the roadway is, this could cause a problem for you. You need to take kind of a trail out into traffic, so it's going to be important that you look, use a hand signal, Make sure that there's no traffic coming and uh, take a little wider angle into the to roadway towards the center line so you can cross the tracks at a right angle. Okay, that's not too tough, but what happens if they cross at the other angle? Now this is kind of a problem. You really need to look behind your shoulder, signal, make sure nobody's coming, and then cross the railroad tracks because you need to cross at a right angle, but crossing at a right angle is going to put you out a little further into traffic. So make sure nobody's coming when you make this, uh, make this sort of maneuver. This is a picture of what the railroad tracks sometimes can look like when they're skewed at a right angle. So be careful when you approach these. Now storm grates, they can propose a problem too because most of the time if they're, they're slippery and wet, you want to avoid them. They can also gather debris. But most of all, you want to make sure that you don't drop a wheel into storm grates. Now most of them are manufactured, that you're not going to do that. They have uh, little spaces in there that aren't big enough to swallow a wheel. But some of the older ones do. So you've got to make sure that you avoid storm grates on your ride. Sometimes they can accumulate debris, and sometimes they can be uneven with the pavement surface. That's okay, just make sure you avoid them. Keep your head up, keep your eyes on the road. A lot of companies are using metal surfaces in construction now. If they're digging underground, they put the metal surfaces down so the cars can go across. These you gotta watch out for because some of the surfaces can be really slippery. So take your time, keep your head up, and slow down. Here's a good example of one near a pedestrian crossing in Des Moines. You just got to take your time and watch out for these. Uneven road surfaces. Now this can be a problem for bicyclists. Obviously that you're going to bounce and move on uneven road surfaces. There could be cracks and potholes that uh, could uh, throw you off of your bike. So you got to be aware that they're, they're, they're present. The lateral crack. This is probably the biggest problem for bicycles is that uh, crack that runs along the roadway. Uh, that can swallow a wheel up really easily, even if they're treated or not. Here's a good example of an expansion joint between two panels of cement on the roadway. Now this is there so the panels can contract and expand with temperature changes. So make sure that you avoid this area. Oh, here's a good example of a cement truck parked in the bike lane. Now you want to avoid this too. That cement truck shouldn't be there, but it's your, your responsibility as a bicyclist to keep a proper lookout. Keep your head up, slow down, and make sure everything's going to be okay. Pass into the traffic lane and uh, pass the cement truck with ease. Oh, here's a good example of a Main Street Highway. That's got the uh, center line expansion joint. Now it's filled with tar, it looks pretty good. Most of the time bicyclists aren't going to be riding over this area, but if you have to, maybe you're passing a stopped vehicle, maybe on Ragbri and passing another bikes, you want to make sure that you uh, don't ride along this center joint and you pass it at as much of an angle as possible. Rumble strips. You know, rumble strips can be sometimes more of an annoyance than a danger, uh, but you need to be aware that they're, uh, they're present. A lot of times on paved shoulders in Iowa, there's rumble strips. They're about 16 inches wide and about a half an inch to five-eighths of an inch deep. Um, so make sure that you're aware if you pass in and out of rumble strips whether or not traffic's coming from behind you. Rumble strips by stop signs are quite a bit different. Most of the time, they're only going to give you a little bit of a vibration, not going to be a very big deal. But 
most of the time, if you try to avoid them, you try to swerve into the oncoming lane, bad things can happen. So make sure you just take your time, keep your head up, and anticipate rumble strips. Ooh, glass. Glass can be a problem for any bicyclist. It's not going to throw you off your bike, but it could cause a flat. And if you have a flat, that could throw you off your bike. So make sure if you see glass on the road, shards of broken glass, that you avoid them. Now finally, we have the bike lane, but you can see on the right side of this bike lane, it's starting to accumulate a little bit of debris. Here's another section of this bike lane. It's really got a lot of debris. Over half the bike lane's covered in gravel and sand. Might be some glass in there. You gotta keep your head up. You need to pick the line on the road where it's gonna be safest for you to ride. Now finally, this is the one that we don't like to see. This is ice and snow. It can be slippery out there on your bike, so you need to uh, keep your heads up. Make sure that you uh, avoid the freeze and the thaw in the Iowa winter if you're out there riding. You know, in summary, we got a couple things that we need to look out for. Railroad tracks, storm grates, metal surfaces. I think the best bet is that you keep your head up, keep your eyes on the road, slow down when you need to, make sure that you signal if you're going to avoid those hazards and yield to any traffic.